Hey crew, it's Bit, and I'm back with a, uh, a game development bit. We're going to do some uh, terrain development in Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to make a fresh terrain, make an island for the video game that I'm developing. So let's dive in over here where I have a fresh scene pulled up. And let me get it up for me. All right, so over here on the left, you can see the panel. This drop down up here, you go to landscape, it gives you this. We are doing a new, so we're going to go to new. Uh, this is where we are going to set our dimensions. The selection size, we're going to make that 127 by 127. Because I don't need it overly large. Most of my actual game is going to take place underground. Uh, in an, a, a temple, right? Uh, a cave complex underneath the island. And so we're building the island. There will be some farms, a village, and they discovered the temple. So uh, it doesn't need to be overly large. We do want to make it where it can be edged in water and still have enough land mass. Uh, but this should be plenty big enough for anything I want to do. Uh, the number of com landscape components is uh, in the X and Y direction determining the overall size of the landscape. Right? This is 8. If we take that up to 10 by 10 that gives us a 10 by 10 square 12 by 12 that's uh you know we'll go 14 by 14 just because that's seven twice let's go ahead and scope out a little bit i'm holding the right mouse button and s while looking slightly back will bring you up or you can hit e and that's a straight up and down uh, it's video game controls, but holding the right mouse will, will give you the ability to do that. All right, so this is good. Like, uh, we're actually going to look up a material real quick because there is a... I'm going to have to find it. Uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a grid pattern. It probably is going to be called grid pattern one. Uh, but it's really good when you're building terrain. It shows the elevations. Hmm. Sometimes it's a really nice there guy. Come on. I'm not seeing it. You know, let me pull this up over. It's not really going to do me any good to swap it. Uh, is it let, let's look and see if there's a grid. That's not it. This is it. It might be it right there. Actually, I think it's this one. The, the gray in particular. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the one I want. But if not, I can change it in a second. So. All right, so this is the size we want, 14 by 14, overall resolution, 1779 by 1779, 196 total components. It's, that's large, but for Unreal, that's not nearly that large. And I'm doing very simple graphics, so I'm not doing lifelike because of the, the style of game I'm doing and the fact that I am a single developer. So uh, this is more than enough for me. We're going to go ahead and hit Create. And it's going to throw this in here. Now we're going to bring this up a little bit because that's how we wanted to work this. But I'm going to go to Sculpt. We are going to turn the brush size this all the way up. The tool strings we're going to bring up to about halfway because I'm putting a I'm putting a big chunk right here in the middle. Um, let's go ahead. That's that's as big as it gets, huh? Oh boy! All right, so. Go. That'll work for that. Now we're gonna go to flatten. Let's get over here towards it a little bit. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna create a flat spot at about this height, all the way across this map. And then we'll raise and lower as we need it, but outside of the edges, we'll wind up being water, right? Because this is an island. But we need something to work with going up and down. 
So this is a good halfway point real quick. So we can go a little bit up and a little bit down in building our landscape. good roughly like I want it pretty close to flat even though I'm going to be going way up and way down with it right so Tiamat who was Tiamat in history right does anybody know y'all tell me tell me come on come on I can't tell me because this is a video Tiamat was the mother of dragons in one particular history like there are several, several histories. And in one particular history, she's the mother of dragons. She's the mother of the gods, like the old gods of the old world that, uh, all right. So where are my directive markers? Let's see here. I want to see what my orientation is. There we go. All right. So that is X. This is Y. All right, so we have a base shape. Now, let's play. Gonna go back to landscape. All right, so we're gonna land roughly here. Right. There will be a dock and a ship and all the good stuff that goes with that. Most of this is gonna be water on this side. We'll probably take that down some there. And then we're going to come up over here with some noise. Brush size is huge. Tool strength is halfway. All right, let's take that tool strength down. <laughs> a, way, a way bit. A way bit more, yeah. All right. Get down here and look at it for a bit. Alright. That's not doing what I thought it was going to do. Let's take that out. Take this. We're going to come down with this a little bit if I can. That should be shift. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of water there. And then we'll put in some hillies over here. How about that? Fluff out these mountains a little bit. I don't know that this was the material that I was wanting. I guess it is. My scale is just bigger than I was really intended it to be, I guess. See, I should be able to take this down on the back side of here. And this is going to be directly into the water with some cliff facings, but it's okay. You're not really going to be coming over here. I mean, really, this is just to make it pretty. Play with it a little bit. All right, so you'll be landing over there. We'll have farms coming out this way. Wooded area back off this way. And the shaft leading down. I've still got a lot of work to do on these mountains. Okay, we got to take this up out of the crevices a bit. And we'll smooth that down. <laughs> and 
nestled right up underneath these mountains over here there will be a cave and inside that cave will be the temple of Tiamat let's get a erosion erosion sounds good the way it was down a little bit yeah, getting towards the top there, boy. Take it on down a notch. Take it on down a notch. Sorry, kitty. I got a cat sleeping at my feet. And I accidentally kicked him, so. He's all like, well, what's going on, man? What a dead man. What a dead man. I ain't did nothing to him. She, huh. I'm probably going to wind up cutting the audio out of this. Take it down a notch and take a slower pass over it. Try and get some of this little extra roughness out. Right here. And again, you're really not going to be in this part of the game. Like, you're not going to be out here exploring between the mountains. Well, there will be a lot of exploring to be done underground. But I can't put the complexity into this that I need to do what I really want above ground by myself. So having to do the above ground parts you're going to have to wait until I've got a team that waits until the back side of this game and into the next one because yes we are creating a franchise we're going to take a page from Eric July and we're going to do our own thing how about that that is the wrong button ah. How about that? That's some pro level stuff right there, bro. Pro level. Right. Now let's erode that out. I may wind up putting a lake right there. What you think? It don't matter. Like, for real, you're really not going to be seeing that. I don't need to spend that much time on it. I will put a lake there. Because you will see that. Take this size down a little bit. Play around in here just a bit. But I will be putting water in here. I may add fishing. And that would be a nice lake to have fishing in. Alright. You have saltwater fish. You have freshwater fish. And of course, there will be fish here. Because, yeah. This one. I'm take this one back up a bit. Let's take this back down. If you hold shift click, it takes it down. And I'm just lowering everything in a little bit so that we're. We've got a below sea level here. Or a, a below water table. Because the water table is going to break on this bank. Alright, so. Let's throw a smooth. What is this hydro? I've never used that one. 
Huh. Interesting. That's not what I need right there, though. So we're just going to smooth it up. I am not going to add the water in this video because the water takes a good bit of resources. I know where it's going to be. I may try and add in a water plane real quick because it should be fairly simple to do even though I have not done it in UE5. Uh, just so we can get a visualization of some water. But I'm not trying to put in the physics right now because it's going to eat up a lot of resources that I can use for other things. Oh. Uh, they have an integrated water system. It works well. And if you can use it, then you absolutely should use it inside your game. You can set up water spawn points where you have cascading rivers and things of that nature. And we may get into that at some point. Definitely not today, but probably at some point. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. I'm just going through and smoothing these mountains out so that when the train goes on, it doesn't have any conflicting UVs, right? So you don't have rock pointing out. We'll be doing a landscape video later. This is just building the terrain real quick. I just want to take y'all along with me as we build this game. I want y'all to, to see what's coming as much as I can. Like, I got a game, y'all, and it's, it's going to be a good one. I cannot wait to let y'all play this game. I mean, it's a game I want to play, so I'm sure that there's at least one other pe person out there that'll do it. I'm betting that there's at least 3,000 other people because I'm looking for a low price point and my return's not going to be that heavy yet. So, But if we can really get some response to this, then we can do the other game too. and That's going to be fun. All the foundations for the other game will be laid out in this one, much like Fallout 1 laid out the later games, if you get where I'm going with that. I found myself playing a game that's rather simple for a rather simple purpose and it made me think a lot about the games that I used to play that you don't really see a whole lot anymore which gave me the idea for this and so if you're this far into this video you're gonna get the little spoiler right here but we're gonna do a dungeon crawler right swords and boards and magic too this is gonna be a dungeon crawler in the style of kind of like wizardry and like you probably don't know but wizardry but the old might and magic games not heroes of might and magic but the might and magic games uh, with a turn based party based style game but with a first person spin on it uh, and that's about this much internet this, I'm going to put that idea out there, but there's not really anything out there like it. And if a big game indie company happens to see this and get it out before me, then more power to them. But I really do think that this is going to fill a niche in the market that the big industry just doesn't want to fill. And that I personally would play the hell out of. And so I'm going to try and make it as fun and as interesting as possible. I have the lore already done. I, I spent a good bit of time polishing that because it's based off of my own uh, original works. So, yeah, this is this is going to be fun. And I cannot wait to share it with y'all, but there are parts that I just can't share yet. We are about done with this basic shape, right? This little peninsula here, we're going to fine tune this a little bit. Let's take that brush size up some. We're actually going to put... Let's try to ramp it from, say, here to here. 
then if you hit enter, it does it. I could have swore that there's a way to alt drag it, maybe? Nope. It's not shift, it's not alt. Not enter. Control, maybe? That does something, but obviously not what I wanted. Ramp width, we can make it bigger. That'll help some. Okay. We do that. Because I am going to smooth this out. I just need to get... Alright, that'll work. And then we come up here. And we can... Hey. Yeah. Alright, let's try smoothing that now. If we take that, oh, we need to... We're going to need to put some strengths on that, though. Let's pull it up. Add some strength. There we go. And that's exactly what I want. Alright. That's going to give us a nice little landing area for the ship that we arrive on. The base town right here with our stores and stuff. Some farm area out here. With some... Quest before you get into the temple because you probably are not going to want to be in there at level one. Probably not. And, uh, I may actually, hmm, I kind of want the tutorial to be before you get to the city, though. So, I may have to play with that. Let's see what else I can do with that. Let's. Let's take you out this way a bit. Oh, uh, no, no, no. You out this way a bit. There we go. That's what we'll do. See how I did that? See how I did that? I just figured out what I needed to do. And then we figure out how to do it. So. Why are you not going down? You're coming up. That is not what I'm asking you to do. I said I need you to go down. Oh, it's because I got the wrong tool on. That's why. Because you're doing the wrong thing there, Mr. Pith. You're doing the wrong thing. If you do the right thing, then you don't have that issue. Alright. Now. Let's get over here and look at this. So that's going to put my water level down here. <laughs> I say down here like y'all can see with this big old thing in the way, right? <clears throat> It'll be about halfway down this slope. So what I'm going to do is actually add a ramp from over here down this way, right? And pull it out that way, and then out this way, and out that way. And then we'll, uh, might as well, just go ahead and tighten up on and get it done. Whoa, easy killer. Easy killer. What you doing? All right, blam up. All right, now let's move this out. Whoa, why did you do that? Smooth. I must have been on top of something wrong. It said, hold up, we're going to take the whole thing down. Okay. I'm going to take it from about here and flatten it out this way. We're going to smooth this edge down away from the water. And then the ship's going to land out here. There will be a pier coming off here. Take this tool size down, smooth this out a little bit, okay. and so 
just below this landed area right here. There'll be a pier coming off. The ship comes in. This is definitely going to need to be smooth now. Because I did dummy stuff. Let's smooth that out. No need to add extra processor when we don't need to. There's no need for any texture on this crap down here at all. All right. Smooth this out. Gonna come up this hill. Attacked by rabbits up in here. And then you come into the town. Alright, this will be the town area. One, two, three. Yeah, we got plenty of room right there. So the town will have a farm, maybe an orchard here. We'll have a farm or two here maybe some animals why not and then way off over here is where we're gonna find the cave of Theomat so excellent okay and that is just about gonna wrap up what we're doing here today hopefully me showing you a little bit of my workflow helps you with your workflow I didn't do a whole lot of explaining if you'd like me to do explaining that's cool oh let me know Hit me in the comments down below. I'll try to do something along the lines. Like, there's not a whole lot here other than telling you what the tools are and then showing you me using them. But that's about all I really can do here. <laughs> to the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. And I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, this has been Pit State. Peace.